Senator Campbell. Uh, the information you're going to send us, is it peer-reviewed? Uh, well, the, I can send you a most recent uh, article on uh, harms associated to marijuana use, which is peer-reviewed in an international journal. And what's the, the journal? The International Journal of World Drug Policy. And I, the other stuff is not uh, peer-reviewed, but I'm reminded that it is cited as a source by pe other people who do have peer-reviewed work. It was reports for the... Uh, it's not peer-reviewed, though. Well, no. that's, that's no. an important part also. Yeah, no, I'm, it's, it's not. <clears throat> they're, they're government reports. They're numerous government reports. You know, one of the problems I have, Professor, is that your stats are like <sighs> apples and oranges. It's like the eight days across the board. I understand that, but we aren't dealing with with across the board we're dealing with drugs. I have difficulty, what, what, what is the definition of production and trafficking that you get from police reports? I was a cop, you know, I can make you a trafficker by charging you with trafficking, but I know you're gonna cop out to possession. I can make you a producer, and in this bill I can make you a producer for five plants. I don't disagree with what you're saying about, you know, being hard on crime. You got 200 plants, you're not growing it for the local community. I don't have any difficulty with that, but I have real difficulty when we A, blame it on judges, and B, set the limits too low. But do you honestly think that five plants could be qualified as a grow up? No. Then why are we having, you support this bill. This is what drives me crazy about it. There is not 1,600 grow ups in BC with over 200 plants in each one. There's a lot of grow-ups there, I agree with you, but why aren't we going after them? Why don't we really do something? And, and when you started out, another question I have is we roll methamphetamines in here with marijuana. Well, it is drugs in general, I was assuming well, I know, it all speaks to. You know, to be, to be, to be fair, uh, we know how to take care of methamphetamines. We make the precursors illegal. So, I mean, uh, you know, and, and do you consider the Red Scorpions United Nations organized crime? Uh, yes, I do now. I consider them disorganized crime. These are a bunch of whack jobs. Well, I don't think and that would all be the of the police. Well, these are not organized people. Well, they certainly didn't start out that way because they haven't been in existence for a decade, but they're, they've taken on over the decade, and clearly most recently they're... they're uh, they've got the makings uh, to b build the foundation to be a solid, long-lasting, organized crime group. You won't see them in two years. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Plekis. Thank you. It's been uh, a lively and very helpful thank exchange. You. We're very grateful to you. Colleagues, I suspend for one minute while we ask our next, next witnesses to come 